What up with a YouTuber's coffee? Back with some news, man. So, boxer Ryan Garcia, fresh off getting dropped by Tank Davis, who has in a wild turn of events today. Tank, just out of nowhere, there was an impromptu court hearing and they threw his ass in jail. It was a wild turn of events. Like I said, there's not really a lot of info out on exactly why that happened. He was supposed to do uh, com uh, community service, I believe, pay some fines, house arrest and all that. And I don't know, he's back in court. They throw him in jail. So stay tuned for updates on all that. But Garcia trying to line up his next fight. And you see he shared what opponents, you know, there's a, three different opponents he wants to fight. You know, he, he likes communicating with the fans and everything and likes to hear the fans feedback and involve him, them and his decisions and all that. And it seems he may be having some problems with his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, because you see De La Hoya is talking to the press, you know, saying he's trying to line up a fight between Garcia and Pac-Man, Manny Pacquiao, which is like, what's good with that i don't know but you see garcia's like yo this isn't what i said i wanted again y'all see he just said three dudes he's interested in fighting and um you know apparently de la hoya ain't listening i don't know man what do y'all think about that de la hoya garcia seemed to have some kind of misunderstanding but you see he flat out is like yo i'm frustrated like this is frustrating he ain't feeling this so i don't know man will they part will he part ways try to tap in with a new promoter i don't know we'll have to wait and see now speaking of boxing man not like pro boxing we got a couple other boxing stories you know this isn't the pros but c mac crip mac whatever you want to call him you know he just came home and seems to you know be getting that momentum back I, I don't know a lot of cats myself included i was like man crip mac was wild viral before he went to jail then he signed that bad deal with that talent agency which i guess he's still trying to work that out and get that old youtube channel back that has like two hundred thousand subs or whatever we'll have to wait and see what happens man you gotta watch what paperwork you sign you know c mac seems to always kind of bounce around with who he's calling his manager so this time he, he, he was, you know, fortunate enough. I mean, I shouldn't say fortunate enough. It's on his own accord and his grind and, you know, uh, the way he presents himself and all that, that he still has that momentum. But, you know, that momentum can come and go. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can, um, you know, move smarter this time as far as about business. But I don't know, you know, he's a wild dude or whatever. But he went back to that uh, pop-up or whatever you call that podcast with Lush. And I don't know if y'all saw, he had his boxing trainer with him. And he's, the, yo, there's footage out there. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to this. It's going to be him and Bosco. And, um, you know, C-Mac too, been going viral for talking about how he got aired out by Jab 5 behind the, them walls, you know. And uh, he kept saying, yo, Jab's a boxer. He's a boxer and all that. So it's like, it almost seems this is motivating C-Mac as well to really get in there and do his best. And, you know, there's this training footage out there. This this guy that's training him is talking about, you know, that he's very confident he can, you know, have C-Mac get in there and air Bosco out. Because he's like, yo, this is a classic Mitch smash. You know, boxing is supposed to have weight classes for a reason. And, you know, clearly C-Mac in a different weight class than Bosco but nonetheless they're going with that fight let me know who you got who you think's gonna win um you know dude was like yo it's only two minute rounds C-Max stamina should at least be able to get him through these two minute rounds or whatever but hey all I can say is I hope it's better than that Bosco Nina boy fight because that ish was straight up trash y'all and then last up again this is more boxing but again this ain't the pros this is what is this called combat league boxing or total combat boxing i don't know let me know if you've watched it before or whatever but former nfl player greg hardy got dropped again and yo they're going in on him they're talking ish you know references some cases that he caught before and the nature of them or whatever and they're like you know serves this guy right to get dropped in the ring like that um you know he, talking about he's trash he's soft they're the yo they're just 
going in on Hardy. But uh, apparently this ain't the first time that he got knocked out. And you see, I guess they stopped the fight like it was a TKO because he got dropped twice in like 30 seconds, man. Yo, the boxing is different, man. Boxing is different, you know, like y'all remember back when that tough man ish was going on everyone like you know tank abbott everyone was like oh yo you know what i'm saying this dude looks like a, a middle-aged like he could be someone's dad and he was going in there and getting it in but you know uh when it came to mma it was different same thing with like r.i.p kimbo slice you know these dudes were brawlers but when you're fighting and, and that wasn't boxing that was mma but it's still you know when someone is is uh in 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 shape in a train and they know what they're doing it's it's just a different game you know but uh greg hardy gets dropped again i don't know man let me know if y'all seen this combat league boxing or whatever before but yeah you yo, know like, like hardy's just trying to go in there and be a brawler and he got tapped on the chin a couple times it went down you know but that's all i got on this one y'all thanks for tuning in sub up stay tuned for more Music, news, sports, and more is coffee. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.